Hi Pisces, welcome to your new moon in Taurus Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you Pisces. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what's going on in your love situation, whatever it may be with this new moon in Taurus. So new moon, definitely talking about new energy and Taurus does represent the Hierophant. So this is about you know, stabilizing things, grounding things, a big, big leveling up, making things real and tangible and um, making things uh, a reality. So let's see how this is going. The big, big leveling up with the energy. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. Please only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. Definitely can flip it, switch it anytime you need to. Cross watchers, same thing goes for you. Actually, it could be a reading or messages for you. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Pisces, what do we need to know? Healing, reconnecting with your true nature. That's been coming out quite a bit. And we have eternal dance. Let's get you one more. So I did get that healing energy uh, for another sign. And the temptress. What? What? What, what, what? No, oh, let's see. So healing, reconnecting with your true nature. We have 33. Three is an energy of grounding, uh, growth, expansion, teamwork, collaboration, coming together in some way, shape, or form. I mean, we do have three. can be third party. doesn't have to be. We have 19, which is 10, full circle, completion, and then one, a new beginning, eternal dance, movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. And we do have the temptress here, 15, which is six, a healing balanced energy. We have seduction, deceit, a broken promise. So I feel like here, Pisces, you could have been tempted into a connection here feeling like it might have been, you know, internal here, past life connection or connection felt very comfortable maybe many through many, many lifetimes. But there's a feeling here of being tempted and then maybe some deceit, a broken promise. And I feel like, you know, doing a lot of healing, reconnecting with yourself and just choosing a uh, kind of a new path, going in a new direction, the path of least resistance, I feel. All right, Pisces, let's see where this is going. For you. All right. I'm sure, you can see all those. All right, Pisces. Let's see what is going on for you. Everything you need to know is down below. You can check that out. Uh, your playlists are down there. You still check out your April readings if you'd like to. If you're new here, I post every Monday, Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Two readings a week. Two different readings every single week, eight readings a month. So if you like a large variety, this could be your channel. Um, I do spirit messages, money career, all kinds of love readings, monthly readings, new moon, full moon. So you can check it out if you like to. And I do have, oh, that came flying out, dolphin, which is 17, which is eight, which is about taking action, movement, travel, dolphin, being light and playful, having fun. I feel like now... Um, it may be in the energy where you don't want anything serious. You just want uh, light, playful energy here. Butterfly. Transformation. 30, which is 3. So we have air energy ha here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And Dolphin is water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your energy. I feel like you're lightening your load. You're feeling more free and lighthearted. Definitely you've... Maybe this was past energy. You healed from a very tempting situation maybe there's a third party maybe you were the third party realizing okay this is not for me so breaking free from that feeling like a lot of resistance in the connection especially if it was a third party and just feeling like okay i'm just going to raise my vibration go in a different energy higher energy be light fun playful and maybe you're not wanting anything serious butterfly definitely uh transformation here freeing of the energy being light fun and free and definitely a transformation at hand here. Wow. So 33 again. And we have 17, which is 8, which is about, you know, I feel like taking off in a whole new direction here. Flying free. So you may just want to be free and single and not really have, you know, be tied down or um, I just to see personal choice. So I definitely feel like you're making that conscious choice. All right. Let's see. Definitely feel like you freed yourself from that energy. All right. Let's see here for Pisces. 
I did create another channel, Pisces is for Twin Flames. Link is below if you'd like to check it out. There are some readings up there. I'm starting to do Zodiac readings. So far over there I have, um, you could cross watch. I didn't do Pisces yet, but I have Cancer, Capricorn, Leo, and Aquarius. So if you're dealing with any of those signs, you could watch it if you'd like to. Dare, love. Hmm. Okay. And Raven, Shaman. So we have Dare, Love. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. Definitely that's what you're doing here. And we have Raven, Shaman. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the element spir elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mystery so i'm feeling like this is a mountain hurdle you had to get over here but you know very gentle kind light-hearted energy here i think you're just open you, you may be open to like dating but i don't really think you want anything serious i mean shaman you could have went for healing counseling therapy um to overcome this energy as well but you could actually have a kinder, gentler love coming in. You may not even be in the energy of looking for it, but it may be coming in for you. So let's see. A gentler, gentler, kinder, a kinder, <laughs> kinder kind of love. Oh my goodness. All right. You may have, you know, been drawn to situations, relationships where you always ended up, not all the time, maybe being a third party or didn't know it and find, oh my God, they were married or they were dating somebody else or they were involved with somebody else. And then always feeling like maybe you were the temptress when you didn't really even know you got yourself in those kind of situations. That could be. So maybe you're healing that part of your heart and releasing it and letting it go. Not making things so complicated, being more light, fun, uh, lighthearted. Transform your energies here, transformation. Alright, so let's see where this is going. And some of you could be shamans. Alright. Strength, Leo energy. Wow, so definitely... Now, that can speak of past lives. doesn't have to be, but strong, courageous, brave, overcoming energy. But a lot of determination, willpower as well. You could be getting ready to meet here, a very, very strong connection. I think just when you're in the energy of letting go of always being tempted into energies that were not good for you and you're finally healing and releasing and letting go that part of your heart or that part of your energy and really lightening your load and freeing yourself and transforming, you know, maybe you, you've gone for healing work from a shaman, you know, past life regression or chakra clearing or Reiki or long distance healing or healing trauma, whatever it is for you. And now you may have a very strong connection coming in here, a very gentle, kind, loving kind of energy. But I don't really think you're looking. And that's what usually happens. It comes in when you're not looking. So let's see, what do we have? Five of Wands, so conflict, strife. And we do have a cup sitting right in the middle. I don't know why. That kind of gives me conflict over Ace of Cups, new love. King of Pentacles. Did I not say someone strong, grounded, kinder, gentler? Stable, grounded kind of energy. This is a Virgo, but we're definitely talking about the new moon of Taurus, so that can represent the Taurus energy. Seven of Swords. So feeling like, definitely feeling like you may be lured into some sort of deceiving energy again. Three of Wands. So I think you're going to wait this one out. I don't think you're going to rush into it. Because I definitely do see... Because the three from the five would give you the two of Wands, which is crossroads, a new path is opening. And the three and five would be eight, taking action. But three of Wands is about waiting. So I think you're going to wait this one out. You're not really going to fall or follow through right away because you don't want to fall into a trap or being lured into this kind of energy again. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely waiting 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 this one out i feel page of pentacles so this is definitely a solid stable energy here capricorn definitely could be the energy of the taurus energy we're talking about here this will actually be someone who will commit who will believes in traditions values morals um marriage th th those kind of things 
temperance. Wow, healing, patient, gentle kind of love here. Soulmate energy, past life energy, divine alchemy, bringing soulmates together at just the right time. Patience, healing, balance. Wow, peace, harmony, joy. Five of swords. Again, worried. I feel like this is energy of feeling like falling into another tra trap of being lured or tempted into a third party situation. With the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Swords, King of Wands, Leo energy. So they may come on strong, hot, fiery, passionate. They may have that energy about them. But deep down inside is this soft, gentle, nurturing, giving, someone who will commit, someone who will be reliable, trustworthy, even though they are a fiery, passionate kind of person. We have two kings here. Four kings would be a masculine a divine masculine. So I see Leo, Sagittarius. This could be Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, or this could be the Taurus energy we're talking about here. Seven of Cups. So you're, you're going to feel like it's cloudy, your illusion, daydreaming. Is this just a dream? Is it real? Illusion, like I'm not really sure. Confusion. Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. You may be stuck in, still stuck a little bit in your head about a very heartbreaking uh, situation as well. Now we have a King of Cups. So, I mean, wow, this is one step away from being an Emperor. Six of Cups. I feel like you, you may be feeling like you're going to return to past um, patterns, I feel. like taking action and falling in love too quickly and then regretting it later because you end up in that kind of situation. It's so four of pentacles. Definitely holding back from manifesting a new beginning here. Gemini, Virgo. So, all right, let's see where this is going for Pisces. Again, this should be your energy or someone you're dealing with. Failing it's you, Pisces. All right, so what else do we need to know here for Pisces? The moon well there you are pisces so definitely i was thinking are we talking about you pisces yes we are fear illusion fear of the unknown um worried about the unknown feeling like oh what if i'm get back into a situation where it's a secretive kind of energy being you know illusion it's definitely fear of that energy here needing to listen to your intuition as well like don't fear the unknown you are strong enough to get through Six of Swords. Moving on to a healing balanced place. So you're leaving behind. You, you're healing this part or you have healed this part of you. You've done the work. Again, if you haven't seeked out a healer in some way, shape, or form, you may want to do that. You may need past life regression or um, cord cutting or some sort of energetic healing work. Six of Swords. So you can clearly move on from this. Heal it and move on from it. Leaving it behind you. Finally, the world, yeah, close that chapter, close that chapter. New chapter is awaiting here. World, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. Could be traveling or distance. Two of Pentacles. So there's something in you that still needs to be healed and balanced out. There's still sort of some sort of imbalance there. Nine of Cups to get to your ultimate happiness, joy, fulfillment that you want wishes and dreams coming true very independent energy so become free and dependent and ready for your wishes and dreams to come true there needs to be this healing work balancing out of the energies leaving this past energy behind you and the pattern behind you for good and the illusion so you can clearly move on when you see a new gentle kinder more stable kind of love, which I feel is coming in for you. I do. All right, Pisces, let's see. What else? For Pisces. Eight of Swords. Oh my gosh, did I not say you're still kind of stuck about Six of Cups? Returning to past patterns or past patterns returning to you, however that may be. So there's still that little energy of being stuck in your head about this. Ten of Swords. Oh my goodness. About endings of the past. 
the wheel of fortune but see fate destiny things are about to get a whole lot better two tens here of completion full circle new beginnings Fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be, moving forward, positive movement, movement forward in the right direction. So things are going to stop moving in the right direction, so you have to trust in that energy and get out of this mental entrapment of the painful ending you went through in the past. All right. A look at this. We have the King of Cups and the Emperor. Pisces. And then the Emperor here, Aries energy. So Pisces is a chance here to meet a Divine Masculine. I mean, we did see three kings here, one more king. We saw the cups, the wands, the pentacles. We're, not, we're missing the King of Swords. So you may not ha have even met this person yet. Maybe you haven't even talked to them yet or communicated with them yet. But um, the energy definitely is here. All right. What else do we need to know for Pisces? Pisces. Six of Pentacles. This will be such a balanced, balanced energy for you. Six of Pentacles. And we talked about the imbalance, things that need to be balanced out here. Equal give and take, reciprocity. What do we have? Soulmate union. Oh my goodness, two of cups. Nine of Pentacles. Someone who is single, this person will not be married. They will not be committed to somebody else. They will not put you in a third party situation. Wow. But you may hold back the Four of Pentacles. All right. What do we have here? The Star. Oh my goodness. Nice. Divinely guided energy. That's the massive healing that you need. Faith, hope, optimism, wish of dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy. Things meant to be. Alignment. Aquarius energy. Wow. Energy alignment with a true soulmate. Hang man, you are Pisces, so you may be stuck on this just a little bit. Eight of Wands, but there's things moving forward. Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. So loss of the past, promise of maybe marriage commitment, something stable that keeps coming through here. But this is a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Did see the Queen of Wands, which is a match to the King right there. Ace of Wands is an exciting new beginning. Wow. Pisces, get ready because you have a soulmate coming in here who is single. They're not going to put you in a third party situation. They're not going to fall into past patterns any longer. So you have to get in that positive, uh, positive mindset. Maybe positive affirmations. I attract all that I am worthy of, of the highest vibration. And I no longer let the past define me and who I am in my future moving forward in love i am divine love and i will attract in divine love and you are all right pisces pisces let's get you advice and guidance so what the new energy is here is you're releasing the past bringing in new energy for yourself and what's grounding down is you will get a grounded, stable, loyal, trustworthy partner coming in for you. And the new energy is this new love, which is a kinder, gentler, stable, grounded kind of love that will not put you in a third party. Say yes. Oh my God, I can't, I can't make it up. 35, 8, taking action. Say yes. Okay. Just laugh. 14, 5, change. Happier times are coming. This has been coming out a lot too. Stop. 34, which is 7, which is a divinely guided spiritual energy. So why is stop here? Accept love. Oh my goodness. 39, which is 12, which is 3. Rebuilding, collaboration, growth, expansion. It's like stop. Accept this love. Say yes. Happier times are coming. So stop. Um, it's almost like stop like moving on, like moving forward, like blindly, because this, I mean, shark or whatever, it can't really see, it's below the water, well, it can actually, but just kind of blindly keep moving on and on and on, but not stopping to see what's in front. Be cautious as well. Turn on the light. Five, again, about change. Two people coming together here. 
clean up your mess, 37, which is 10. Completion, endings, new beginnings. So you're cleaning up your mess, messes that you've gotten yourself into. I don't feel like intentionally cleaning that up, healing it for good, leaving it in the past, ready for the stable new beginning. And don't sweat the small stuff, 54, 9. Again, completion, full circles, 9, single energy, 9, 10, 1, new beginnings. Don't sweat the small stuff. Yep, you're about to create a peaceful, harmonious, beautiful life. 24, full of balance is what I feel. Wow, all right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped or resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Again, you can check your playlist, check out your April readings. If you like to, check out the Twin Flame reading. I will be doing a Pisces Twin Flame. Not sure when, but you could check that out if you like to. Lots of other readings on there. And also uh, check out the community tab where you can vote on the polls as well. So I am wishing you the best, Pisces, and I shall see you next time.